It must have been my mother who gave birth to the music in my bones. I still see her fingers move above the keys. I recollect the opulence of Ormandy conducting, the genius of that Philadelphia sound that nurtured me. I still hear the Broadway show tunes hummed on Sundays as she knelt to light the stove. Her clair de lune still echoes in my air. How does music spring to life? Where does it live? Was it truly in the breath my mother breathed or in my head or heart? In the strings or on the keys, the fingertips, the lungs, the lips, the limbs, or in the brain? Is it the sound itself embodied by the wood, the brass, the reeds, the skin? Does it flow from the world in which we move, these notes of life we all compose? Or is it only blackened marks scratched upon the pages that musicians turn? I've asked them all, where are you when you play? Where have you gone? With diffidence, they demurely say, well, I don't really know. I'm not so sure. And so I listen to the dancing strings in mystery, that long pull of the cello's bow, and the silence that comes afterwards. The harmony blown softly from the lungs that takes my breath away. The rhythm of the beating drum. Where is that the cadence of my life I hear? These profound notes that sway me so, such stunning melodies to stir my day. Legs akimbo, butt on the edge or shoved back on the seat, toes pointed, flat on the floor, lip biting, serious, head shaking smiles, eyes glazed, fingers gracefully folded or tense, a glance here, a glance there, a shared nod. How often they seem to be lost to our world, immersed in the theme, totally drunk, surely not here. We dip and swoop at the sound that they make, flocks of birds wheeling in patterns of flight who only half know where they will alight. Held, held firmly in hand on the shoulder, under the chin, or lovingly grasped by the knees, the instruments play. The music edges its way, sliding downhill, running ahead, catching up, or slowing down, consciously picking the path just beyond, or trusting to genius or fate. These resonant lips, this vibrant yet confident wrist, an evocative breeze in my ear, in my blood, takes possession once more. We are together in this, not really there, not really here. Where have I been? Where do we all go? Why does my chest swell uncontrollably so? Oh, friends, we are together in this. We long to belong, to be drawn in. In this airy space, we gather each week, religious, our lattes in hand. In the bright tone blown by the sonorous wind, this magical zone, this ethereal dream where the strings sing, communal, we return home. We become human again.